hello friends welcome to my channel I hope all of you are fine so today I have uh, come up with uh, another theory of motivation and the theory is theory X and theory Y which is a simple concept let's talk about theory X first theory X is all about assuming that people do not uh, want to work they dislike work so they have to be punished they have to be taken into some uh, you know some action has to be taken for them to work unless and until you are strict with them the people will not work that is the assumption of theory X on the contrary theory Y assumes that people don't have to be punished people don't have to be pushed they will work because they are self-motivated so these theory X and theory Y are you know almost uh, they are opposite of each other the assumption is opposite now uh, there is uh, so many discussion about uh, this which one should we use theory X or theory Y and uh, there is no right and wrong for that uh, some books will say something some books will say the mix of both of them so actually it should be a mix depending upon the person actually now uh, theory x when you if you when, when we talk about sorry when we talk about uh, maslow's need hierarchy theory the top top uh, needs of person like self actualization need that kind of needs if are prevalent on a person then we have to use theory Y because he is self motivated he wants to do more in life that is theory Y and what if we if the person is more about uh, lower needs food water security he only wants to secure his job he don't want to get promotion he don't want to get something uh, he don't want to achieve anything then we need to push him we need to use theory X so uh, for theory X uh, Maslow's lower need is prevalent and for theory Y the person is having more influenced he is more influenced by the top needs of Maslow's in the top hierarchy so this is all about but uh, when we say about theory X and theory Y and how to motivate a person we have to as a leader we have to see the person's personality his ambition his thinking that's why leadership is not an easy it's not a it, it cannot be taught uh, so easily it has to be experienced that's why we say a more experienced person will be able to lead better way if everyone has to read from the books then everyone will be a good leader but that is not a fact so when you are implementing those theories before also I told you some theories and now this one theory X and Y you have to get into the psyche of the person and once you understand uh, what the person is all about you have to uh, you have to take a decision whether you will implement theory X or you will implement theory Y so there is no right there is no wrong or uh, both the theories are important and both the theories are needed mostly in conjunction in conjunction also I mean in, in uh, totality and together uh, there can be theory X is more uh, implemented on one person and theory Y is very nominal in some other of your followers you will implement theory Y more prevalently and theory X very nominally or it equally so you the, it depends upon the person mostly if I if I have also worked in some uh, I have also worked in industry and uh, what I feel is at a lower level at a bottom level more uh, prevalence is this is my thinking I'm not talking about books uh, at the lower level at the bottom level maybe I think so theory X is prevalent more as compared to theory Y but as a person goes up in the ladder of uh, uh, positions and experience then slowly slowly theory X has to be reduced and it gets reduced for that person and theory Y takes prevalence because then he is self motivated he wants to go ahead 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 nobody wants to go back but at a lower level or in a 
in organizations like say public sector uh, where there may not be theory why so easily implemented because they just want to work maybe now the prevailing scenario of public sector also changing i don't want to make them feel bad so uh, i mean i'm just giving a public sector as an example when i'm saying public sector it means an organization where uh, the promotions and everything is not so uh, fast but only people are joining for security purpose that kind of organization i'm talking let's not talk about public sector any organization which is just for securing a job rather than doing anything else so i hope uh, everything you have understood and if you light has gone so if you uh, think you need to have some uh, clarification you can contact me thank you very much have a nice time